Hello! In this video, I will demonstrate you how to create a new menu and assign it to your store view. Let's first see how the menu on US store view looks like right now. I will add a completely new one and replace the old one with it. I open backend, go to Scandiweb Menu Manager and click on Add New One. I will now fill in the general information by choosing Menu Title, Menu Identifier, setting the status to Enabled and choosing Store View. I will now choose Save and Continue Edit. And once this is done, I am now able to switch to Assigned Menu Item section and add a new item. The first item that you create will be your root menu item and the parent for all further category items. It will not be visible in your menu, however it is still required to fill in the required fields. Save. Next item will lead to the women category and will be assigned to the root item that we have created previously. I will call it Women Collection. Set the URL type and category. Choose an image and assign it to all. Save the item. And now repeat the same process for adding a menu item for our main category. Next, I will create a child item for women category and add a custom CSS class for it. And assign it to women collection. Save. And last but not least, I will create a menu item that will lead to the CMS page. I will call it Scanny PWA and set the URL type to CMS page. Choose our Scanny PWA page, choose an icon and assign to all. Save. And now I can save my menu. Once the menu is created, I can now go to Store Configuration. Under Scandi PWA, choose Content Customization. Switch to our Store View. And under Header and Menu section, choose a menu to be displayed. Save config. And since our content customization settings are integrated with Magenta caching mechanism, I will follow the Magenta node to refresh invalidated cache types. Submit. And now I can go back to frontend, refresh the page, and see our updated menu. Important is that Scandi Web Menu Manager is included in the Scandi PWA caching solution and it doesn't require any cache flushing operation for your further changes with the Menu Manager to appear on frontend. Let's see how it works for disabling one of the menu items. I will go back to backend, open Scandi Web Menu Manager, open our new menu in Edit. Switch to Assigned Menu Items and Disable Man Collection. Save. Save our menu and without flushing cache, I can now go back to frontend, refresh the page and notice the Man Menu Item disappeared.